Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Thanks for uh, stopping by. Um, I'm out and about. It is a cold, kind of wintry morning, you know, as far as winter goes for Texas, but uh, it's beautiful. It's a nice change of pace for me. And one of the things I've been thinking about, or I should say five things I've been thinking about, are things that I can do differently this year. I'm trying to just, as I said in this that video, I can never remember which corner it is. I think it's that corner, but what I said in that video is basically last year and frankly the year before, and a lot of this is COVID, of course, but I just sit at the computer. And when I'm not using one computer, I swivel chair and I use the other. And it gets a bit exhausting and taxing both of my physical and my mental health. So the first thing I'm thinking about of my five things I want to do different slash better this year is getting out more. Out walking around, it's obviously good for my physical and mental health. Um, it may or may not involve taking photographs. I'm out this morning with my GoPro, which I'm filming on, and my iPhone, which I'm taking a few videos and some photos on as well. But no other gear, just simple out, kind of walking, enjoying the, uh, you know, nature at its finest, if you will, and being a little cold in the process. But regardless, it's a nice change of pace from sitting in the office. And so that's the first of five things I want to do differently this year. And my goal, of course, is to just inspire myself to be a little bit more creative. I feel like last year I got in a bit of a rut where all I did is just make tutorial after tutorial. And I'll talk about that in a minute. But I want to change things up this year a bit. So that's the first thing I'm doing is getting out, enjoying nature, walking around, just kind of having fun. And uh, frankly, it just provides me some inspiration, which I think will come through in the videos for you guys. Okay, now the second thing I want to do better or different is actually to take more photos. Now, I know I said just a moment ago that I may go out on outings like this and not take any photos. And while that may be true, I also do want to get out more often with the camera and take some snaps. And they don't have to be great snaps. And getting out doesn't even necessarily mean I have to get on an airplane and go somewhere. I could go here. I could go somewhere in a different part of town. There's a lot of different options. If travel is not necessarily something that you can accomplish, there's still a lot of options for getting out and taking photographs and practicing the craft, if you will. Uh, there's a quote that I'm a big fan of that is uh, that says, your first 10,000 photographs are your worst. And I'm a big believer in that quote. And I can't remember who said that. I'll have to look that up and put it down below. But I think it's very accurate. And I think in the digital age, that quote could be that your first 100,000 photographs are your worst. And so I want to get out, practice my craft, take more photos, and just not sit at my desk, basically, is what it comes down to. The other thing I plan to do differently this year is to experiment more with lens changes. I would say that last year I probably used my 20 millimeter f1.8. It's a Sony prime lens, which I love. It is my favorite lens of all time, but I probably had it on the camera 80 to 90% of the time. And while I did get out a few times with other lenses, I like that lens so much that it almost didn't come off the camera. And while there's nothing wrong with that, at the same time, it gets a little bit stale and my, uh, my hope and my plan really this year is to switch lenses more often so I get a different field of view, get a different experience shooting, and just you basically look at things differently when you have different lenses on. Our recent trip to Colorado, I took the 24 to 105, so kind of a mid-range zoom. I took the 24 millimeter Viltrox Prime, which I did a review of there, and I took a 50 millimeter Prime as well, which I've been out shooting with a little bit in Colorado. It's not really something you think of for landscapes which is why I brought it, because I thought it would make me do things a little differently. But I've also been shooting with it some here in Austin and having a heck of a good time with it. And so my plan is to switch lenses more often so that I don't get into kind of a rut of doing kind of the same thing, shooting the same things, looking at things the same every time, but instead mixing it up, getting some variety, and of course pushing myself creatively to come up with different sorts of shots because again, I'm looking at things differently because of the lens changes. Okay, the fourth thing I'm gonna do differently this year is just experiment more, and that will be, part of that is changing lenses, as I've already said. It's also experimenting in post. It's also experimenting with different kinds of video content. 
I'm gonna keep doing tutorials, I love doing them. They're a lot of fun for me. I always learn something in the process. But as I've said before, sitting there every week just banging out tutorials like I did in the last year or so, gets a little bit stale for me. I just need something a little bit different to kind of stimulate my creativity. And I find when I'm out doing things different, I get inspired and I come up with better ideas for tutorial videos. So they kind of go hand in hand. Me getting out and doing different things inspires me to do better things when I'm back in the office. So my videos this year will be, of course, a lot of tutorials as I've uh, you know, already said and continue to want to do, but also some vlog videos like this one where I'm out and about, and also some review videos where I talk about gear more specifically, how I'm using it, what I'm getting out of it, why I like it, that sort of thing. So again, it's just experimentation, whether it's in post with my photo editing, lots of different things we can do there, as well as experimenting with different video content where I'm out and about or reviewing products, that sort of thing. So lots of different sorts of things that I'm thinking about and that I want to do. And for me, it all goes back to stimulating my creativity. That's what really all these tips are about because I felt like a little bit this last year or so, especially in the last year, that I got in a little bit of a rut where I just kind of did the same thing and just bang out tutorials every week. And I was a little bit uninspired, I will admit. And so my hope is to get myself a bit more inspired this year because there's a whole lot we can do and a lot of fun we can have. And I want to be able to share that with you guys here. So that's tip number four, experiment ruthlessly. Okay, the fifth thing I'm gonna do differently this year, and truthfully, I should not have to do anything to accomplish number five because it should be a byproduct of the first four, and number five is to have fun. If I'm out more, and I'm taking more photos, and I'm changing lenses, and I'm doing creative experiments, number five, having fun, should just happen. If not, something's seriously wrong with what I'm doing with the first four. But regardless, I feel very confident that is gonna be the case, that I will have a lot of fun because I know I'm gonna focus on doing these other four things. And so that is basically my creative attack plan for this year. Get out more, take more photos, change lenses, experiment, have fun. All simple tips that you can do, you can start implementing them right away, which is what I've been doing. It's already late January and I've been doing this the whole month. I feel more creative, I feel more inspired, and I feel like I'm having a good time doing these things. So that's it for this one, my friends. I do appreciate it very much. Thanks for stopping by. If you have any comments, feedback, ideas, things like that, please stick them in the comments below and I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, I'm gonna go finish my hike here in the woods. You guys take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon and adios.